A stone extraction can be performed using an extraction basket or balloon. Whether we use a guide wire for this, or if it is possible without a guide wire, largely depends on how wide the opening after sphincterotomy is and if the bile duct is dilated. If both are relatively narrow, or we are working in a diverticulum, then we prefer to use a guide wire and select a basket that is compatible with the guide wire or insert the extraction balloon via the guide wire. The case presented here is a 39-year-old male patient with a stone in the bile duct, verified by endosonography. A sphincterotomy has already been performed. A short guide wire is already in place. A guide wire compatible extraction basket is used for the stone extraction. To establish a secure hold of the stone in the event of a juxtapapillary diverticulum and to minimize the risk of perforation. Here you can see the guide wire compatible basket. The functioning of the basket is checked. It's filled with contrast agent, thereby removing the air from it. Through the distal tip of the closed basket, the basket is inserted into the scope. With the forceps elevator raised, the guide wire is securely locked in position so that the stone extraction basket can be quickly pushed forward up to the forceps elevator. In the next step, the forceps elevator is lowered and the stone extraction basket is inserted into the bile duct via the guide wire. The assistant then opens the basket. Usually, contrast agent is applied with the basket slightly open to show the stone. In this case, one single stone had already been identified by endosonography. The basket can thus be fully opened and is pulled all the way through the bile duct. Until the stone which can be seen here radiopaque in the X-ray image within the wires of the basket, is captured. The basket is closed a little until it has a firm hold of the stone and is then extracted lengthwise from the bile duct. Usually, you would also then visualize the bile duct system to ensure it is free of stones. <laughs> 